Be go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. IPOB has buried explosive devices along Southeast Road. Two secessionists wounded by own bomb. Nigerian Hami. IPOB has buried explosive devices along Southeast Road. Two secessionists wounded by own bomb. Nigerian Hami. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. He said while trying to escape an attack by Nigerian troops, the devices exploded and wounded some of the IPOB members. According to a report by Sahara reporters, the Nigerian army has said to members of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypob and its militant wing, Eastern Security Network ESN, were injured by an explosive device they had planted on the road. Director Army Public Relations Brigadier General Oyema Wachukul on Thursday said Hypo BSN members had buried explosive devices along different roads in the troubled southeast region. These Director Army Public Relations Brigadier Oyema Wachukul on Thursday said IPOB ESN members had buried explosive devices along different routes in the troubled southeast region. This, he said, was done to arm Nigerian troops. He said, while trying to escape an attack by Nigerian troops, the devices exploded and wounded some of the IPOB members. IPOB is a secessionist group led by Unam Dekano, who is currently under detention while standing trial for alleged terrorism and other related offenses. The group seeks the breakaway of the southeast region and possibly the south south, which is to be known as the Biafra Republic. According to the army spokesman, the incident occurred on Wednesday, June 1, 2022, along AK Ututu Osu Road in Osu local government area of Imo State. Wachukul urged residents to inform troops of possible areas where the explosives have been buried for proper evacuation and disposal. He said, the dissidents inadvertently stepped on the IED, which they had earlier planted along several routes in Olu, also local government area. While they were attempting to invade troops on slots against terrorists in the area, the outlawed group has severally planted IEDs along troops' patrol route in a failed effort to bring arms to the troops. We urge all peace-loving people of the Southeast to please inform troops of possible areas where these explosives have been buried for proper evacuation and disposal. He said while trying to escape an attack by Nigerian troops. The devices exploded and wounded some of the IPOB members. According to a report by Sahara reporters, 
The Nigerian army has said to members of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, and its militant wing, Eastern Security Network ESN, were injured by an explosive device they had planted on the road. Director, Hami Public Relations, Brigadier General Oyema Wachukul, on Thursday said IPOB ESN members had buried explosive devices along different roads in the troubled southeast region. This, he said, was done to arm Nigerian troops. He said while trying to escape an attack by Nigerian troops, the devices exploded and wounded some of the IPOB members. IPOB is a secessionist group led by Unamdikano who is currently under detention while standing trial for alleged terrorism and other related offenses. The group seeks the breakaway of the southeast region and possibly the south-south which is to be known as the Biafra Republic. According to the army spokesman, the incident occurred on Wednesday, June 1, 2022, along AK Ututu Osu Road in Osu local government area of Imo State. Uachukul urged residents to inform troops of possible areas where the explosives have been buried for proper evacuation and disposal. He said, the dissidents inadvertently stepped on the IED which they had earlier planted along several routes in Olu, also local government area while they were attempting to evade troops onslaught against terrorists in the area. The outlawed group has severally planted IEDs <coughs> along troops patrol routes in a failed effort to bring arm to the troops. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you. For